Hi, this is Anna Haferman, and today I want to show you how to e-wrap on the Singer uh, 700. This will work the same on any of the Silver Reed Singer uh, flat uh, metal bed type machines. And this is an automatic e-wrap cast on using the carriage rather than your fingers wrapping it around. And this works great for people with uh, hand motion issues due to arthritis or carpal tunnel, or even for beginners who aren't great at e-wrapping yet. This also provides a really nice even edge that um, is better than I can do by hand. And I've been doing it for a little while. So the first thing I do is thread my carriage and I've decided that my pattern, I'm gonna knit this yarn at tension seven. So for the cast on, I wanna go down two whole numbers. So I'm gonna go down to tension five. So whatever your main tension is, go down to go down two. Then I'm gonna set my carriage to slip and I'm gonna leave my Russell levers on two. Now the first needle, I will pull out my first needle Go left and then right, and it e-wrapped around that needle. Now I'm going to pull out the next next needle, do the same thing, and keep going until I get the number that I need for my uh, for my pattern. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see how they're e-wrapping. This is a, the exact same result as if you do it by hand. It's just using the carriage. It's probably a little slower than doing it by hand if you've been doing it a while. Uh, but it does provide a nice even edge. And there's probably situations that you'd find where you could use it where hand e-wrap might be hard. So I go until I get however many stitches I need. So once I have the number of stitches I need, I'm going to go in and just push out each of these needles to position E or D on a Singer machine. On Brother, it's E. On Singer, it's called D. I'm actually looking to make sure. And then, so I push them all out, and then I go back to stockinette. Let's see if you can see that. I'm gonna go back to stockinette here. The Russell levers can stay where they are. And then I'm just gonna knit across. And actually, I should have gone back up to tension seven, but I didn't, but let's just pretend I did. I'm gonna keep knitting. And after I have a few rows, it's a good idea to put a few weights on the edges just to hold that the the, the knitting on the on the machine. Now I'm gonna take it off so I can show you the what what I cast on so I can show you the cast on and I'm just gonna pull those off like that and there you have a very nice even uh, permanent cast on just exactly like handy wrap just done with the carriage It's also possible to do the automatic e-wrap using waste cord and uh, waste yarn and ravel cord. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to do a weaving cast on. So I'm going to set my tension at zero. I'm on stockinette. I'm going to put my weaving levers down. And then what I do 
is however many needles I need, I will pull those to position B, and then I will pull every other needle to position D. So I'm at B, D, B, D, and just alternate. Then I take the yarn that's coming from the carriage, which you can't really see. I'm trying to, I can't really get it. And then you take the yarn and go over the needles, just like that. And then you knit across. And what it does is it knits every other one, but the, the other yarn holds those stitches in place. So then I'm gonna go up to my main tension, which is seven. I'm gonna keep the weaving levers on for right now, but I'm gonna go back. And then I'm gonna go right, left, right. Then after I get a couple on, couple rows, I'm going to weigh down the edges. I'm having a few tension issues with this waist cone that wasn't particularly wrapped well. Left, and right, and left, and right. And then I've got my waist yarn on. So now I'm going to do... I'll do it. Now I'm going to cut the waist yarn. I'm going to hold on to it so it doesn't fly around and clip it back. Then I'm going to take my ravel cord and do a row of ravel cord. Clip the end of the ravel cord. And I'm canceling my weaving. Uh, buttons now off camera. So now I'm running the ravel cord across, just doing a row of ravel cord. And I'm working around the camera again, so a little awkward. So now my, I've got the ravel cord and the the waist yarn and then the ravel cord. Now I wanna get back to the other side to e-wrap. You can actually do this from either side, but I'm really right-handed, so it works best for me to go this way. So I'm gonna, on the Silver Reed machines, you have a release button here. So to do a free pass, so the knitting doesn't fall off, you just do that. So I've got my waist yarn and my ravel cord, and then I'm, uh, I've decided I'm going to put one more weight on there so it just makes it a little easier. I'm getting a little pulling on the ravel cord too, so I'm just going to, it seems like this last one wants to hang loose. So I'm just going to put it over here on the gate peg just to keep it straight. What I'm going to do is set the carriage to slip. I've canceled my weaving buttons. I did that off camera. I should probably have done it earlier, but it doesn't really make a difference. I'm leaving my Russell levers on too. So, the first thing I do, pull out my first needle. So left and right. And as you can see, it has e-wrapped the first, the first stitch. My second one. You just keep going till you get to the end. Pull out one, go left, go right. Take your next one, pull that out, go left, go right. The next one. And just keep going till you get to the end of the end of your stitches. Okay, so here's my last stitch. And now I've done that. I'm gonna go back to my carriage and go back to stockinette. I'm gonna set my tension at seven. 
which was my main tension that I'm using for this pattern. And then I'm going to knit across. And now I'm going to take this off and show you the weights off. I had so many weights with waist yarn, ravel cord. However, so I'm gonna, I've uh, cut my thread and then I just knit across and it releases the fabric. So here I have, here's my fabric. What I've got going on here is so this is the waste yarn, and this isn't part of the project. This is just to keep this yarn. When you have to, when you're starting from yarn, it's sometimes easier to go from waste yarn because it gives you, it can give you a nicer edge, especially if you're working with something really fine or delicate. Now, then I'm going to take this ravel cord out. And it pulls right out. And then the waist yarn comes right off. And then here's my e-wrapped edge. That's that on the bottom. It's got some stretch. It's very neat and tidy. 